that's changing direction. Good to see one one upgrades going on here, so. Oh, he's getting right in there and destroys the, the uh, expo. Totally taking it out, but here comes the army from the Plotas player. And he's going to start picking up armies, and it takes so long to get those roaches in distance, so that is not a very depictive scene fight here of the uh, new upgrade, as those roaches would have been able to lay down fire so much sooner. And now this is where... This is the first mistake. He's sending a small u unit to fight... A small bunch of units to fight out a much bigger army. He should be sitting back, containing his army, building it up, and destroying these rocks to get that gold expo. And with his amount of money, he can certainly do that. Or income, he can... He should be able to do that. He should be making so much more workers. Definitely should have taken some of these off and put them over here. That way he can create units at both layers, instead of uh, placing them both to this one, to this mineral patch. So as you can see, we have a spire up. A transition to Mutilus may not be the best idea with the amount of stalkers out here, but he will be able to harass his economy. But whether or not harassment will be able to stand up to the sheer amount of Forgate armies will have to Forgate Aggression, we'll have to see. I'm going to skip ahead of here. We're going to see a fight going down. Forest Fields going up and able to pick off another Stalker. And... Oh. Devil Wings just trying to micro around here. Yeah, speed this up. 20 minutes into the game. Uh, higher level, you'll probably see a Zerg with at least three more three expansions, whereas Devil Wings only has one. It would have been nice to see him take down those rocks. Oh, and it looks like another altercation. Missed that a bit, but it's pretty much the same over and over. And he is pulling back. Pulling back his forces. And this is where he definitely he should feel the pressure, and if he had another base, he'd have much more larvae and much more money to build up a force. It looks like the altercation going down here. They're going to pull away. Both players scared to get a real battle going on, and knowing that, this is where Devil Wings would want to expand, because he knows his forces are taking on the Protosses. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I missed something over here. Am I going to have to rewind that? <laughs> Let's see, where does that come from? It looks like there are Mutilus on the field, and let's see what he does with those. And he is going to go and harass. And here's the war prison. And if these had been attack clicked, they would have taken out this war prison. That's why you never send your units just a right click. You never want to do that. And here's harass going on over here, as well as soon to be harass over here. But he's more worried about this force. So it looks like they're definitely just going to try and take out each other's economies, warping in four zealots. That's where the economic damage comes, and as big problem as Devil Wings, most of his uh, workers were over here and just got decimated, he's down to only 15 workers, and same with Blue, as all his workers were over here and hardly any over here. He's down to only 7 workers. He did not transfer. This is a big problem right here, is they need to transfer their workers from one base to the other. while expanding. That would create a much more sufficient economy, much better economy, allowed for more quicker expansions. We definitely should have seen more expansions going on from the Zerg player, who, if he had taken that gold much earlier, on the 15 or earlier mark, he probably would have a 200-200 army by now, with the economy and the amount of larvae he'd be able to produce. That's what makes Zerg so dangerous in the late game. Looks like there still is not a whole lot going on. Sending overlords to that. Uh, just sending a search. Finally throwing the expansion. And I'm not too sure why he puts one way over here when he could have just destroyed these rocks. If the players are too scared to destroy the rocks. Oh, and it looks like more zealots coming in and ruining the economy over here. And just keeping those good micro of the uh, drones. I guess I have to really watch this uh, war prism over here. But like I was saying, these destructible rocks do not take long to kill when you have an army like this. It might take 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 
and maybe a minute max, depending on what your army size is, you can take that out and then expand there, and it's so much worth it in the long run. Whereas expanding over here is dangerous because it's out in the open, it's away from your creep, your creep highway, and away from where your army is. It's so much easier to defend an expo that is right here than over here. Same with the protest player. He tried to hide the expansion, but Zerg's ability to scout the whole map with overlords, it just makes it a uh, hidden expansion very difficult. Expanding to your natural is definitely a smart tactic. <laughs> it's just, it's the normal. I just, uh, if you want to try and hack an expansion and it's successful, successful power to you. But <laughs> with the uh, expansion being way over here, the Zerg player is just coming in and wiping out everything he has. Just a total destruction of his base, and there's nothing you can do if you have no warp gates. So we're going to have to see some warp gates going up over here. He has two facilities down, but not enough economy to supply anything that can be produced there. Nothing on the assimilators, and only 18, 19 workers. Zerg's economy finally picking up up to 46 workers, saturating both his remaining expos, and he's going to just have the, uh, the larvae to build up a much stronger force, and as you can see, his stroke force is definitely looking pretty strong here, but the warp... Ooh, the force field's going up, and just... They're trapping units, and those are going to be picked off. Very good use of force fields to pick those units off. And it looks like he's got... Here comes attack, just... Oh, not microing those properly, and they're going to be <laughs> whittled down by the roaches who've got a bunch of free pot shots. And looks like... Some of his army is going to be force fielded off and picked off. Oh, a couple more missed micro coming in here. Definitely some missed micro going on from both players, but it looks like the Zerg is going to be ahead, and he is going to take down the last of the stalkers one by one, and now he's just got to go for his base. Oh, and there is Matron leaving the game. No GG. So, there you have it, a ZVP game pre-1.12. That shows that Roaches can be very effective, especially with the new patch, where they can reach the front base without being harassed by cannons, etc. So roach, roach range definitely a great aspect in the game. To these players, I can just say expand earlier. I have troubles with my expanding, and just I know how it feels. It's scary to expand, but sometimes you just have to force yourself to expand and get into a better position. So, that is pretty much everything for this episode of SC40. Hope to see you guys next time. This is Chino Reams signing out.